everyone out there, another episode of Solar TV brought to you by Solar Wolf Energy. We're going to be talking today about how we take and we keep the conduits hidden under your panels in a way so that with the appearance, the aesthetic, when you're looking at the whole job, when it's complete, all you'll see is the nicely grouped array and hopefully if your installation company did it right it should be symmetrical left to right top to bottom regarding the NFPA ruling. We'll get into that for another video um, real quick that's the National Fire Protection Agency in some counties and some states they have jurisdiction of where your solar panels can go on your roof on your home or business. Again, that's another video, we'll get into another time. But I wanted to show you, I wanted to bring to light for some of you, we've got some questions from some homeowners and business owners about how we do it. Well, it's a trade secret, but we'll let you in on it. It's not something you can't just Google and find it. So what I have here is, we call these a combiner box, otherwise known as a solar deck. Um, so what this is, is if you have more than X amount of number of panels, you'll have to run it on a certain string because the number size wire on the roof will only allow you to run so many panels, so much wattage, so much voltage through the wire. Okay, so when you have to have, let's say you have, you know, let's say 30 panels, you may have two strings, right? So it's a lot of wiring, and instead of running all that wiring down the side of the building or through the attic or wherever we are running it you may want to have what's called a combiner box, which is simply named. You're combining all the wires. It's actually a junction box, if you think of it that way. You'll notice the profile of this. It's thin enough where it's very short, where a solar panel on rails will fit right over this, right? And that's the point. So on the back side of this, you'll see there is some outlets here where you can put the outlets in here. So your conduits will run the roof, they'll come in, and they'll go through here with sealed connectors, which we have some here, I'll get for you. So you'll see, these are weatherproof connectors, we use these, right? And what that does is that allows to make sure that if you're in the snow climates where you might get some snow under the panels on the roof, and you'll know if you have ice damming, but we'll go up the roof. It will actually defy gravity. So we don't want it to travel up the conduit per chance and get into this. So we seal them as well with outdoor rated connectors. Now inside you'll see in here, so we call the DIN rail, which is where we have plastic pieces that go on here. They'll be called in gray, red, black, and whatnot. And what that'll be is that'll delineate which colors go where to keep it nice and neat. Traditionally, on every install that we do, we'll put these in, we'll take pictures of it, and we'll label for which homeowner or business owner that we're installing it for. And then from here, there will be a hole drilled on the underside here that goes into the attic of the building that we're working on. So it will come in here, go through, drill through here, put some fittings in, connect to the DIN rail, and then come through the, the back side of this and go into the house, allowing it to be weather tight, right? Snow, water, wind, all that. Now what happens here is we put this, we lay this down over your roof and we cut out, we cut out your shingles to go around this. So that if you think of your money layers on your shingles, it will be sitting here and go by this and it will protect it so that this is a sealed unit if you'll notice right here, there's no chance for water to get in here, right? So it'll come by and run past and go by it. And that will alleviate any water or any kind of mold or anything growing in your attic. And you might ask, well, why don't blow up this cover? We seal this as well. And then if you'll notice on the sides, there's a way to secure it. it will come off from critters crawling underneath or anything like that. Any kind of wind. So that'll keep that good and dry. It'll keep it safe. It also alleviates any kind of using wire connectors. You've seen those cheap plastic things where you take two wires, you, you kind of twist them together, and then you, you twist that plastic red, yellow, green, or brown, or whatever color you have, you put that on it. Well, that's, that's kind of a, a cheap, half-assed way to conjoin wires. It's not something we'd recommend, especially with the voltage that we're facing and the wattage that we're facing here in the solar industry. We want to do it the right way, right? So these are all things that are approved by UL, Third Party Underwriters Laboratory. I'm sure you've seen that tag on nearly almost everything in your home. 
So that's why we use those, because it passes all inspections in all 50 states. And for us, where we have systems in place, and we're state to state wherever we're in, because you know what works here in New England may not work in the Carolinas or Texas or Ohio, all the places we're at, it, it, it just it's just easier for us as a company to make systems and if it's the rule, if it's the law, and it's obviously easier to do it that way as well for liability purposes, even if it costs us a little bit more money, then it's worth it for us as a custom as a as a company. It's also worth it for our customers to know they're getting it done the right way and the permitting office and interconnection offices that we work with to know that the company that they're reviewing, which will be us in this case, is doing it the right way, right? So just a little insight. I know a lot of guys have questions about how we do it. If you drive around and see our installs, you'll, you'll, you'll have to say to yourself, well, where does the wire go? Because it just looks like it's just there on the roof. So there you have it. There's our little secret. Not so secret. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of companies are starting to come this way. About time, I have to think, part of it is because these videos are floating around, calling out these companies and saying, why aren't you just spending an extra few hundred dollars on labor and time and materials? To do it the right way and give the customer what they deserve, which is a better looking solar array. Because aside from your solar system working, which is what you want, obviously, you want it to look good too. It's it's kind of a high priority. It should be for everybody. I think now it's starting to come around where it's a priority, but it should have always been, right? So you have it working great, it's going to be in your home or business for the next you know, 20, 30, 40 years. You want it to look amazing as well. Why can't solar look amazing? It should if it's done right, if it's done symmetrical, and if using all monochromatic panels and whatnot, it should look amazing. So things to think about. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching Solar TV, brought to you by us here at Solar Wolf Energy. Have a great weekend.